So the incredibly late transfer window is open. We'll get into the other rule stuff later on. Thank you for the comments. Um, I've broken the, smashed, if you will, the absolutely smashed the transfer record of the club. And now he's damaged his knee cartilage and is out for eight weeks, which is kind of the rest of the season. So, you know, good times. Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back. So, bit of housekeeping first. Let's talk about the Total Energies CAF Confederation Cup, Europa League. Uh, so, there is many nations in Africa that have late seasons because there's rainy seasons. That's why they have breaks and stuff. Um, and so, because the Europa League starts uh, sooner than the end of their seasons and stuff, a lot of them will take their current positions at the time of the when qualification needs to happen and then that's who gets Europe. Some of them, I think, do um, what happened previous years. That's the ones that go through. So, obviously, that's what happened to us in that, obviously, we weren't anywhere near last season. So, at some point during this season, we need to keep an eye on it because I've checked the rules. It doesn't say anywhere. Whatever the table was, take a snapshot of the table and that's the qualification period. Okay, so we'll keep an eye on it if we're here next year. Um, ironically, that actually doesn't happen in Ghana, according to the comments. Thank you very much for that nice gentleman that left like a long explanation. Um, but that's just a database thing, right? It's fine. Um, so, this is the uh, Confederations Cup. Confederation, not Europa League. Confederations Cup. Confederations Cup. We are in the first preliminary round. And there's... Uh, that one, and then we've got two more rounds before the group stage. Is there any prize money <laughs> for losing? Just want to check. Not that I'm being defeatist. I don't think there is. Okay. Um, secondly, weirdly, very strangely, I think this is just a bug unless I'm being incredibly stupid. There's always a small chance of the high chance, high chance of that. So, registration for the Confederations Cup. Um... Is pretty simple. Minimum 15, maximum 40. Um, this guy, Gershon Samate Nimoero, is our new superstar signing. I'll show you him in a minute. So I couldn't register him because we had to register before. But for some reason, the game would not let me register Thomas Jr. I cannot see any reason why he can't be registered. Um, he's been with us the entire season, so it's not like he played for somebody else in the tournament or something. I have no idea. It was just unable to let me choose him. Even now, when I can't register players, you can still mess about with it like this. I can register him, but I can't confirm it because the registration's done. Fine. But I can't, cha I can't change him. He just can't be registered. Thankfully, Yves Machochi, our new inverted winger, I gave in to the comments. Everybody said, playing as an inverted winger. Fine. Yes, I know it makes sense. I just didn't want to change my tactic ever so slightly. Uh, yeah, so that's a bit annoying. Um, so let me take you through the transfers. Uh, I'll show you the player first because then I have to show, I've got to show you what I did to get him. Okay, this is him. He's 17 years old. Even though we probably can't really develop players because, you know, we don't have the facilities. I can't help but by young players it's just in my dna um as you can see he's out for with damaged knee cartilage lovely um this is him yeah yeah he's quite good isn't he he's quite good um i'm gonna try and tr get rid of the comes deep to get the ball because that doesn't really suit the lone striker role unless you know you're harry kane um but his passing is quite good to be fair uh but he's very very good and he's even naturally he's gonna get quite a bit better we got him for two years I think I got him on yeah another two years because I'm not leaving you're not leaving you're staying for a while at least um but as you will see he cost me 30 thousand pounds now you're probably wondering how did you manage that I had a, I had a weight uh, transfer budget of about two grand how did I manage that well firstly installments so we're paying five grand up front and then 25 grand over three years. 
spread it out. Because like we're going to get some prize money for finishing high in the league and stuff and all that good stuff. So that's fine, right? So all good on that front. But I couldn't even afford the five grand. Cause... And I was like, okay, well, I need... It's hard to sell players at this level because not many clubs have money. So I'm like, okay, is there anybody I can sell that's going to make some money? Um, and yes, I managed to randomly and happily because also uh, Richard Tete, uh, Richmond Tete, we can finally register. So we got a new centre-back. So I'm like, good, I can sell one of my centre-backs. Huh? Hmm? Obvious. And he, I managed to sell him for 20 grand. Oh, that's absolute steal. So I'm like, right, sorted. No, no, not sorted. Not sorted at all, Loki. I only get 5% of all sales. So 10 grand would be 500 quid, right? 10% of 10 grand would be a grand. So I get 500 quid. So a thousand pounds I got for that sale. And it was, I had a bit of wages as well, but it was not quite enough. So I had to sell another person. So I'm like, I might have upset a couple of players because I'm just on. Anybody want to buy this guy? No. Okay. This guy? No. This guy? No. Um, I managed to sell um, this guy, who's actually sort of our backup goal, like backup goalkeeper, uh, sitting in the res reserves for two grand, which just gave me enough money to adjust budget to then get him in, which was amazing. And then I just got rid of, I had to get rid of um, a couple of wages as well to be able to adjust budget and all that sort of good stuff. So finally, he has joined us, and I'm very excited because uh, Eggy. He's had a great season, but he's really dropping off form. And he takes up one of my uh, foreign spots. Obviously, with Yves Machochi coming in, because he's Congolese, that takes up my fourth foreign spot, meaning the loney defensive midfielders I got in, old Och Ode, I can't register, which is fine. I'm not paying him anyway. I knew that was... I actually remembered that that was the case. And so immediately just like, I'll oh, just dump him off the reserves. So I was I was okay with losing, and there's another one coming in that I'm not paying. That's also foreign. That I'm not. I'm just going to dump in the reserves. So we just have to go a bit, you know, weak on the uh, DM front. Uh, yes. So all good, uh, apart from results dropped off a little bit. This second half of the season, our small squad is probably the biggest thing at fault here. Um, we just conceded too many goals. Uh, we got too many draws. Then we lost against Wafa. Uh, beat hard to line last game out, which is fine. Um, so we're currently fifth. But it's less stressful because we we weren't going to win the league anyway. And we've already qualified for Confederations Cup. Uh, so, you know, just chilling. Chilling. Uh, but we still obviously want a strong finish. We, I'd, I'd still like to finish as high as possible because like, obviously prize money is quite a chunk as well. So, But we're in this like battle now. We're never going to finish lower than six. I'm not even I'm sure if it's even possible. We've only got two games left. Um but yeah, so we don't have to worry too much about the last games of the season. So we're playing uh, Desportivo. This is the Angolan side. Oh my god, how big is your squad? Uh, okay. Well, they've maybe had a couple of problems in the registration window as well. <laughs> Because it seems they can't play half the side. That is for this game, right? For next match. This is the next match, right? Unless they've got a game. No, because we're playing today. All right. Well, I'll take it. So, uh, unfortunately, we can't have him on the bench. I tried to sell Eggy. I tried to sell Do. I tried to sell Eggy because he's a foreign player. So I thought if he's going to be the first choice next season, then I'd rather get rid of the foreign player. But nobody wanted to buy him. But we'll have to sort that out in the. Uh, Thing. So do is come in. Uh, no, we'll play Eggy. Junior is not registered because game. Uh, Bismarck is falling apart for a little bit of the season. Halfway through, we thought, I thought maybe he's averaging like 6.8. He could get a 7 rating, but he's fallen apart. But the trouble is his backup is just as bad. Uh, and his backup backup is also just as bad. But he's coming in today. Burrow Burrow has got upset because we got bids for him because actually he's one of the ones I don't want to sell. Uh, but he's upset, but now he's okay. But now there's another bid, so he might get upset again. Always hard to tell. Uh, Tate's come in and done really well so far. We knew he was going to be good. Just needs to get up to speed and fitness and sharpness and all that good stuff. Um, we will make you... I'm going to make you an inverted winger on attack. 
And the centre centre mid partnership is Staffy Duck is back, which is fantastic news. They formed a really good partnership. Bogey's like superb. Uh, and we are good to go. Good luck, everybody. I'm hopeful that this team's even worse than what we saw earlier because they didn't register any of their players, which is awful. Right, Club Desportivo de Londres Sol. Right, here we go. Our first ever... Why don't they have, have the licenses for this competition? It's racist. Sports Interactive. They've lost the last two. Right, come on. Let's go. Uh, I have to apologise. Hand, holds up. Hands hands up. Holds up. Hands up. Holds up. Uh, because of no streaming and stuff. Um, obviously, with the house stuff going... Stuff happening at the moment. Um, life's got a bit hectic. Uh, it's... We're currently with a mortgage broker that's going out to looking us for the best mortgage and best mortgage and things, um, which is normally quite fine. You kind of just wait until you get offers and pick which offer you get. But what's going to happen with me, I can guarantee it, is they're going to go, OK, this is the best offer. But they have some questions about your income, sir. So can you please do explain to me what you do and why you live off Patreon and ad revenue and donations and Twitch subs? And if they don't know about these things, it's going to be an absolute nightmare. So I'm having to, like, make a sort of package of, here's what I do. So you, you know, you old people that are just aren't cool like us uh, understand what the hell I'm doing for a living is. So that's always going to be fun because I want to, there, there could be big problems with this. Go on, Bogues. Go on, Bogues. I really wanted to see the new guy in this tournament, man. Just signed him too late. Anaba has another year's contract left, and I want to obviously get him down to a longer term contract. Oh, this is goal. Play it. Play it. Go on, Eggy. Mondo! Let's go! I want to get him down to new contract, which he actually wants to stay, which I was quite surprised with. And But they want a release clause of 30 grand in, and I think that will get picked up. That should, like, They'll get picked up. He doesn't have release clause now, and the agent wants a release clause. So I'm going to wait, try again. He might change it next time and keep doing that because I don't want a 30k release clause. That's nuts. Oh, no. Tete's Mr. Header. Oh, goalkeeper's had a little lie down. It's one all from the kickoff. They've hit back immediately. Those cheeky Angolans. Oh, no. Come on. Not the biggest crowd. That's a good header, to be fair. That's top corner. Okay, so good. I don't want to talk about it. Oh. Yeah. So this is the team that is playing. I just wanted to make... They've got two great out players. And we're losing. This guy's only played two games this entire... I think they've only played two games. Okay, fair. <laughs> Actually, he's not that bad. Uh, okay, don't worry about it, lads. Come on. Let's, if we can get a draw for this game, I'll be fine. Let's take him to our place. Smash him about a bit. All right, well done, controlling possession. That'll do to keep positive... Machochi's not doing great. Gab, uh, Gaffer's back from injury, but he's not playing well. Let's keep it going. Come on, boys. Going attacking. We've got to be able to beat these guys after seeing their team. I think if they had their full team, I, st I think we're like a little bit better, but it's really close. Go on. That's nice. Go on. Oh, There's a reason why he's got a god in his name. It's because his family's heavily religious. Uh, it's 2 2. And Abba gets a goal. My brain hasn't decided between calling him an Abba or an Abba. And so it varies between the two. You've probably noticed and got mildly irritated by that fact. Right, we're staying attacking. 
They're there for the taking here. I wonder what sort of crowd I'll get at home for this. That's nice. That's not nice. Should get a big crowd, right? It's the first European game. <laughs> My brain. My brain. It's the first Confederations game. Oh my god, he scored another one. How big is this dude? Or good at heading is he? Not having this. Not having this. Trouble is, when my normal thing is to go two up top. But then I, an Abba's not playing. Right, let's just make... Okay, and I don't want to do that because he's like really good at the footballs. So I'm going to make... I'll push you on. I might move these two up. Let's try that as our more attacking version. Bogey to be... Go box to box. And we'll push you boys on. Okay. Go for it. Go for it, boys. Very attacking. I want to draw from this. I want to draw. Oh, come on! Okay. Whatever. I'm still confident. I have to say, having seen their team, unless they can register people after this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's be confident. Go into it. Don't worry about it. We do have a league game. Although I want to finish high up as possible, obviously I'm going to rest the players that need resting because there's a little spell here where we've got a this game, league game, this game, and league game straight after. So obviously we're focusing on this. I think it goes without saying. So we'll skip the next game. Back onto the second leg. So we had another 2 2 draw, our third in. <laughs> In six games, uh, we were 2 0 down, and then I, a full rotation because the game was really quick. So I was like, okay. And then seven, when we were 2 0 down, I thought, bring on the big guns. Eggy gets a goal. Thomas Jr., a lovely goal as well to equalise. Unfortunately, a Boa Boa has the flu, which is annoying because he's found that he's been decent this season and he's been better recently. So that's really irritating. Uh, Bemper's going to have to come in and just be rubbish. Bismarck is back. We're coming, he's coming straight in. Uh, we rested all the big guns. Uh, Do is back from his minor injury. Might as well stick these two on the bench. Okay. They're not very good. Okay. Okay. Machochi's not hit the ground running or even jogging. Uh, but that's fine. Okay. We're going to win this comfortably. I'm confident. The goalkeeper's having a bit of a wobble. He came ch one for one of the goals. He came charging out of his goal and then sort of looked just looked like the other way as they scored, as if he didn't want to see it. Like, if he didn't see it, it didn't happen, sort of thing. Right, point the finger. We're favourites. Come on, lads. Come on, this is massive. We're coming out of the gates attacking. Please. Please, I really want this. I really, really want this, okay? Here we go. And Abba, back post. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's only 20 minutes in. We've been all over them. I'm feeling a Bismarck wonder goal. Machocci, Bismarck. Machocci linking up well. Cuts inside. Tete, he's a... Big giant of a boy, isn't he? Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Go on, Eggy. Yes! Go on, Eggy. Sit down. Look at this packed house. Packed house. It's, the crowd is full. The, the stadium is full. Tete lays it off to Bogey. Dinks it over the top. Eggy's always going to finish that. He's just always going to. We've got to kick off highlight. Oh, no. This happened last time. I'm st I think we're going to score a second goal here. We are way better than them. Please, game. Please. That's nice. That's really nice. Machocci gets it out from under his feet. Okay. Let's just let's move on from that. Bismarck. He's going to go for a deep cross. No, he's keeping it safe. Keeping it moving. Tete. Bogey. Another dink over the top. We've seen it before. Get in there. Bogey pulling the strings. Like a young Perlo. It's 2-0. Right, right now, we need more goals because our defence is absolutely ropey at the moment. And Richmond Tete gets his first goal for the club. He's had to wait like four months to play football. <laughs> at least in the game, they don't get upset. 
that he's not playing first team football, even though he can't play first team football. So that's well done, Sports Interactive, for that. I'm surprised. This is more like it. Come on. <sighs> Thank God for that. We're all good, boys. Oh, my God. This could be disgusting now. They're panicking. Angolans famously don't travel well. Right, bogey. Back to help the defence. Up towards Eggy. He's never going to win that. Nanaba. Gets tackled. A little bit of life. Tete hooks it away. Gaffer. Come on, Gaffer. There we go. Bit of space. Go on. Oh, that's nice. And Abba! Top bins! 5 new. 35 minutes in. It's got to be a record attendance, right? It's got to be record money. Surely. Surely. 4,776 people. I think our record was like 2,700, if I remember rightly, which is unlikely. Now, we do have a league game. Okay, so let's think about this, because this was the important thing. But we do have a league game, and I want to finish as high up as possible. So I think, actually, we probably rest people. Right, Hammond for an Abba. Uh, do us just back from injury, so you can come on for Eggy. And then you for you. He's our youngster. I don't think Regan's ever going to be that good, but he's a solid little backup player for when we run out of good players. Right, lovely. Not bad. Five goals from next year of 1.64. Nice bit of mark. What's he playing? 7.2. This could be the late comeback. He needs. To, I don't think even if he's got a 10 this game and a 10 the next game, he could get his average to 7. But there might be another qualifying round before the end of the season, technically. So it's doable. And he's, he needs nines in every game, I think, pretty much, though. Nice. That's worth a little point one, I feel like. Good recycling, Bismarck. I think, oh, that's nice. It might be offside. Looks like, I think it's offside, that one. <clears throat> oh, VAR, so fancy. Bloody VAR, shouldn't be allowed. I'm tempted. We'll see how the last bit of this season, because I think we might have another qualifying round, maybe, I don't know. I'm tempted, let me know what you think. I'd like to propose. Actually, I'll put a poll. I'll put a poll in the comments. If I remember. I'll put a poll in the comments. I think Anaba, Anaba, Anabe is could be an inducted into our Hall of Fame for this season. Because not only is he playing my worst position, which is a number 10, always struggle with, he's absolutely torn it up this season. Scored some big goals, some important goals. So I'm going to put... I'll do it at the end of the season. I won't do it this episode. If I do it at the end of the season, will I remember, though? Let's take a gamble. Let's take a gamble, see if I remember. Um, we'll have a look at the end of the season. And if we're happy with him, he has a good like last couple of games, etc. Then we'll put the, po the, 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 the poll up to see if he's the first one inducted. I just think he's he's been so good. So important. He's got double figures, goals and assists this season that I think it's only fair that we we discuss it. He's, he's there. He's teetering. All right. Do we get any money? Is there a draw now? Do we play the next game before the end of the season? Uh, that's no for money. Okay, we're playing Stadmanji. Anybody know where they're from? Gabon. Okay, they've got a good sized team. I'll respect it. Uh, I always look at wages. That's a, always a good shout. Okay, similar sort of level it looks like. We've got a transfer listed guy that's playing it the entire season. Their striker. Oh, they've got some goal scorers in there. Anthony Padamoya. Moya. Okay, similar level. When are we playing? Uh. Um, 
Okay, a couple of weeks after the end of the season. Because why not? Right, there we go. I won't show you the last game of the season because uh, it's not really that relevant. We could potentially finish third or where we are. So there's probably like 50 grand maybe in trans. Our finances in prize money difference. It should write off all the debt. There should be a small, maybe. No, I don't think it, what was it? Uh, do, 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 do. Wait, I thought there was more prize money. Oh, yes, that's that's say 16th. Okay. There might be a small window in which we actually have money in the bank and I might get a coaching course. That would be absolutely huge if that was the case. Right, there we go, my friends. We go marching on. The Angolans have been brushed aside and now bring us the Gabonese. That's what they're called, right? Gabonians. Oh, that's a much better word. Loki agrees. Right, thank you very much for watching. See you next time.